Hello everyone. In this chapter, we will write a specular shader and we will use the equation that we derived in the previous one. So this is the equation that we derived or we understood in the previous chapter. We understood each and every component of this equation and now we will see how we can calculate these elements in unity. So h is a half wave vector which is l vector l plus vector v normalized. Vector l is the world space position of the brightest light. If we generalize this sentence, it's a world space position of the light. Vector v is the world space view direction. So world space position of the light is given to us by a built-in shader variable that Unity provides us, which is underscore world space light position zero. And what about the world space view direction? We will have to calculate the world space view direction in the shader. And how we are going to calculate it? So suppose this is a 2D world and this is the center of the world. And at 10, 10 position, your camera is placed. So a line connecting the center of the world and the position of the camera will be the world space view direction for the center of the world. So this vector here, which we call as vector V from center. So vector V center, is the world space view direction from center of the world, which is 0, 0. But we will have to calculate the view direction from a point of the surface, which is located somewhere in the world space. The direction from this point of the surface to the camera position is what we need. So this is the world space view direction from point of surface. So let's simplify this diagram and this we will just keep what we need for the calculation. So consider that this is the center of the world which is 0, 0 and this is the vector v from the center of the world. This is the point from where we will have to calculate the world space view direction. So this is the world space position of the point on surface and this point here is the position of the camera and this green vector is what we need. So how we will calculate this is based on the vector calculation that we have understood in the previous chapters as well but we will be a little more intuitive this time. For now if we remove this green vector which is the world space view direction we are left with two vectors that are blue and pink. If we take this pink vector and rotate it by 180 degree, that means this is the position vector, this becomes negative position vector. So now we have this blue vector and negative and positive p vectors. If I add this negative p vector, with the blue vector, I will get another vector. This green is a resultant vector of blue vector minus p vector. And this resultant vector is equals to the vector that we need. This is the same vector which is the world space view direction. So let's do this calculation again and this time we will keep the terms that we are going to use in our shader in our mind. So pink vector is the world position of the point where the shader is acting. If it is a vertex shader, this is the world space vertex position. This, if this is in the fragment shader, this is the world space position of the fragment. So pink line is a world space vector. And this blue line is a world space camera position which is given to us by a built-in shader variable.